Hello everyone, this is the continuation of our tutorial concerning the online registration of Northern Arizona Dentist College. So in my first tutorial, I have guided you on how you're going to apply for admission. Now, in order for you to continue with your enrollment process, you should have received your um, notification of approval or approval notice coming from the registrar. So I assume by now you have already received that notice. If you have received that notice, you can continue with your um, enrollment through this login page. All you have to do is enter the email address that you have entered before in your admission and the password that was given to you. Now, if it happened that you forget the password, all you have to do is um, click on the forget password button and then enter the email address that you have entered before and then wait for the email of the system in your email account. So you have to open your email account and see there the email which contains your password. Okay, so let us now proceed with the enrollment process. So let's <clears throat> try an account that is created. Um, try the login using the email address and the password. Click on the submit button. Now you will be able to see after that your dashboard which contains the enrollment procedure. There are several steps here in this procedure and I would like to explain them one by one to you, okay? As you could see, there's only one that is blue, which is the enter personal information. This is clickable or selectable and the rest is not. Why? Because you have to go step by step. Now I would like to explain uh, every step, the admission, as you could see here, it's already checked, which means you're already done with that. So after you enter your personal information, you need to go through this, which asks you uh, several data that is needed for your enrollment. Like, for example, your residency, your guardian, your address, your birthday, and so on. After that, you have to wait for the residency approval coming from the Vice President for Student Services. The residency, which composed of either the dormitory, the village or faculty, and the parents or home residency, you have to enter that here in your personal information. And then that is the basis of the pres uh, student services in approving your residency. So after the residency has been approved, you can now proceed with your subject lineup, which you could be able to view here in the subject lineup link. And in there, you could be able to arrange your subject, choose from the subject that is offered and given to you. Now in the view assessment, in that link, you will be able to see the total tuition and fees that you need to pay this semester, depending on the number of units you have enrolled and, of course, the kind or the, the subjects that you have enrolled. The view payment option is where you could be able to see the different options for you to pay your tuition and fee for this semester. And your payment must be approved by the student finance and eventually your enrollment will be approved by the registra uh, registrar. After they did that, you would be able to view their approval and the registration form, which you could print or capture in your device. So these are the steps that you need to follow. Now, let's start from the personal information. So I'm going to enter the personal information. So if you're an old student, basically some information are already there. If you're a new one, um, it's blank. It will be blank and all you have to do is enter the information that is needed. For the old students, you check if there are wrong spelling or wrong information and then all you have to do is check it. Click submit button. And then after which it will go to this 
uh, enrollment details where you, they are ask, going to ask you, you are going to enter your residency. If you are going to stay in the dorm, you have to put your dormitory dean name as your guardian and its contact number. Of course, the address is the school's address. If you're planning to go or stay in the village or a faculty, again, still the name of the faculty or the village guardian or um, landlady where you're going to stay should be placed here in the name, the contact number, and also the address. But if you're going to stay at your home, you may select parents and then type the name of your parents, the contact number, and your address. So these are all important data, which is the basis of the student services in approving your residency. <clears throat> if you're done, you click on submit button. So that's it for this account. It has, you have to wait for the residency approval coming from the student services. Now let's try another account that has already residency approval so that we could proceed with the enrollment. Okay. Okay, so this account has already a residency approval. So you could see there it's checked already. It has already the check mark. You could view when the approval is given by clicking on it and you could see that it was approved on this particular date. So click on the OK button. Now I could proceed now with my subject lineup. So all I have to do is click on the subject lineup. All right. Guys, sometimes it will take time to load. You just wait for it. It depends on the speed of the internet. So here is the subject. I would like to discuss to you there are two kinds of subject in here the priority subjects and the optional the priority subjects are mandatory you need to take this whether you like it or not because it is needed for you this semester okay but for the optional you need to uh, you can select and add it to your priority as it was stated here you can select subjects that could be added to your priority so the total units here is 12. It, will, uh, it means that I have only 12 units that is given to me. <clears throat> now, if I would like to add more units, I could select from this priority. Uh, this is given to you by your department head or dean. So for example, I want to take uh, understanding the self as an additional subject. So I just click on here. And you see it goes to this uh, part, which is your priority subject. And again, if I'm going to select again the Christian belief, there. Now, if you don't like the subject, you just happen to change your mind, all you have to do is click on the delete icon, which represent by the trash, trash can icon there at the right side. All you have to do is click on that, and then it will be removed from your priority. That's it, how simple it is. So if you need or if you want to select the subject from your optional and add it to your priority, so you all you have to do is click on the subject. If you want to remove, just click on the delete icon. You could not remove uh, any from the first priority or from the priority subject because your department had uh, a uh, Emphasize that this subject, you have to take it for this semester. It's only from the optional that you could select from and uh, delete. Okay. Now, if there are subjects that you wish you like to take or you want to add more units, please do not finalize yet your enrollment, but call your head or your dean. Email them or use this number, text, or call them, okay? So once you're done, you just click the Done button. So it will go back to your dashboard, and then you could see there's already the check mark there. View assessment. So these are the subjects that you have 
uh, selected a while ago. And then the tuition and fees. This is only for foreign students. Total tuition and the 40% down payment. Now, all the details are there. Now, if you have some questions about your tuition and fees, all you have to do is um, give a message on the student finance office, director for student finance office, and give a call or text them. Okay? So, click the OK button there. View payment options. These are the options for your payment. You could pay through bank using our BPI account, Metrobank account, or you can use an electronic money transfer uh, in any electronic money transfer agency like Pera Padala, Emlo Hilaire, LBC, or Western Union by using uh, the name of Miss Mary Jane Devera as the official receiver of this money transfer, and these are her uh, number, okay? Or for those who are nearby, you could just have to come here in the office uh, and pay on the school cashier using on the scheduled 8 to 11 a.m. Monday to Friday, okay? So click on the OK button. Once your payment is approved by the Director of Student Finance, you could see that this one will be blue and the official registration form will be displayed to you, okay? Let's try another account that has already the approval so that you could see how it looked like. Okay. So you could see there it's already approved by the finance. All you have to do is there. Okay, you could see there the date of approval and the amount that you have paid. In this case, I have not, uh, this account did not pay anything, so this is just an example. Click on OK. And now, uh, you will notice that the subject lineup is already disabled. Yes, of course, because the finance has already approved your payment, you are not allowed already to add more subject or delete a subject. So, I am um, advising you that before you pay or before you um, give your payment, you have to finalize your subject with your department head and with the system first so that you will not be um, adding and deleting subject later through uh, manually. Okay? So this is it for your, uh, this tutorial. Again, once the register approved this account, you could be able to click your or view your official registration form and then print it or capture it and keep it in your device. Okay, so we hope to see you or um, have a fruitful uh, semester with you in this new normal way of education. Goodbye.